begin with the latest on Donald Trump's victory in the presidential race nationwide and right here in North Carolina. The State Board of Elections says more than 2.7 million Republicans voted for Trump statewide in 2020. This year, he received more than 2.8 million. In the 11th congressional district, Trump surpassed his 2020 count in 11 of the district's 17 counties. News 13's Kimberly King takes us to Rutherford County. That's where customers at a local landmark give their take on why Trump won. The topics are straightforward and issues that we've heard throughout the election cycle. Here at Smith's Diner in Forest City, the clientele is largely diehard Republicans. Thrilled, they say, to see Donald Trump win. Can you please raise your hands if you voted for Donald Trump? These six ladies lunching are good friends. And at Smith's Drugs, dining in the front window, they agree. For me, the border, I voted for Donald Trump, and my single most important issue was the economy. You go to the grocery store and spend $30 enough to make a bologna sandwich you met with. Does that not tell you anything? Roger Triple, 69, also says Trump will protect his right to his 22. Nobody's coming to get my guns. You saw them walk away from the working American people. The Republican Party's district chair says Democrats' support has eroded since Obama in 2008. The Democrats have become the party of elitist Hollywood. And you saw it in her rallies. It's Beyonce and it's um, Oprah. At party headquarters in Hendersonville, we found the Trump campaign card supporters handed out, honing in on key issues, cost of living and inflation, and illegal immigration. What can I get for you? Back at Smith's, Susan Donahue's focused on her work. How's your soup? I did not vote for Kamala. <laughs> I already knew Trump was gonna win. But Susan voted for the third party candidate, Jill Stein, hoping Americans one day will have more choice Choice for president, but American voters have spoken, their candidate returning now to the Oval. Michelle Woodhouse, the Republican Party chairperson for the district, says that for Republicans, January 6th, in her mind, is no longer an issue and reflected, she says, in the very decisive win. Reporting from Rutherford County, Kimberly King, News 13.